In this very brief tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Mo Creatures mod and have access to over 60 new mobs and animals and monsters and all that kind of stuff. And I'll do it in a very easy to understand way. Alright, so the first thing you want to do to install Mo Creatures is you want to actually find the link. I'll link all the links that you'll need in the description. Uh, so this is the website here, Mo Creatures mod, and for this I would recommend the higher version. So for this one it's 1.12.2 and 1.10.2 I'll be using 1.12.2. So what you want to do is you want to scroll to the bottom and find the downloads. Uh, also, you need another mod for this to work. You need um, a game called a um, mod called Custom Mob Spawner, and it's for the same versions as you can see. So this is the right one. Sorry if I sound sick, by the way. But uh, anyways, let's get started. So with this, uh, we want 1.12.2. I'll download from this one and uh, press download. And you can see it's gonna start installing. It's gonna say this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep it anyways? You can press keep because a lot of people have reviewed it. A lot of people know that it's safe, so that we should be fine. Let me just make sure. Made it to my desktop. All right. Now, what you want to do? My custom mob spawner mod. I would uh, go to the server two, like the same as the last one. Press download. Uh, yep, same button. Also press keep. Drag that onto your desktop. And there we go. We have the two mods that we need for mo creatures. Let's. I want to quickly double check to make sure that we have everything. Yep. All right. So now we need to install Minecraft Forge. So Forge. Uh, we cannot use Chrome because Chrome will try and block it. Forge is safe, by the way. I know. Uh, I just. It again. I'm gonna use Safari because this one won't block it. And you want to type in, I'll put this in the description as well, but files.minecraftforge.net. So now you want to go to 1.12.2 since that's the version that we're installing. And we want to do download recommended installer. Uh, you're gonna have a lot of ads pop up, which might, which you might think you need to press. It won't do anything, you don't need it. In fact, I think this one just wants me to close it. There we go. So now we have to wait, press skip, and right there to start downloading. Make sure it says 1.12.2. If it doesn't, then you probably installed the wrong one. Drag that onto your desktop, and we can close out of Forge. So before you add your version, you want to make sure that Forge will be activated. So grab Forge, double click it, and it'll say Forge cannot be installed. What you want to go, what you want to go do, go to System Preferences. You want to go to security and privacy and you want to press open anyways no forge is safe so nothing bad should happen so you're gonna see this open up uh, make sure it's on install clients and you want to go okay press okay now we can go into installations add new i'm gonna call this smoke creatures mod 2. you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and find release 1.12.2 forge it won't show up for, again for me since I have multiple files of 1.12.2 because I play 1.12.2 a lot. However, if you've never played 1.12.2 with Forge and installed Forge for that version, then it should still be there. Uh, then it should appear. I'm gonna change the logo to something I can easily find amongst everything else. Uh, once you know that it's saved right here, then what you want to do is you want to go Shift Command G. You want this exact thing pasted. I'll have this in the description so that if you don't need to pause. Also, if this doesn't work for you, if you can't do that for some reason, also try Spotlight Search and it will appear. This is the folder for your mods. Once you have Forge, this should appear. Um, I'm assuming that once you like install Forge, then it adds a mods folder. So that's why you can't do one before the other. So, well, that's why you can't do mods before the Forge. Anyways, what you want to do, you want to grab your mods and just throw them there. And you can close this now that they're in. You can go back to Minecraft, select your version. So this is what I'm doing. And you can just press play and just wait for that to load. All right, so we have Minecraft up and running. So go into mods and just see that yours has been installed. Yep, we have custom spawner and we have do I see? It's not showing all of the stuff that I have to be. I think we can assume that it's on. If it's not- Oh, yeah, we do have more creatures as well. Alright, so we do have them installed. Alright, so I've already entered the world. This is post-editing, by the way. But, yeah, this is basically the Mo Creatures mod installed, as well as custom spawner mod, because that's also required. But if you guys found this helpful, giving it a like and potentially subscribing would be uh, very appreciated. If you have more questions before asking in the comments, go check out my 
how to install mods video because that will have a lot more details on, on how to install mods. And I also want to give a quick thank you to my members, R. Terry, Dull Roblox, Charged Squid, and Triz Trink. So thank you so much for becoming members. If you want to become a member, you can just press the join button, although you don't have to, of course. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.